Hey, hey, Aries, intuitive soul coach here with your June 2023 bonus reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. These are general readings, so please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading or entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, Aries, how are you? There's a lot of messages coming through here for you, so we're just going to dive in. Well, first of all, we've had that full moon in Sagittarius recently on the 3rd or 4th of June, depending on your location, also known as the pink strawberry moon. So you may be feeling the effects of that energy, which can usher in a lot of optimism, a lot of adventure for some of you travel you may be traveling in the month of June or you're planning or preparing to because this can be an exciting joyful period I'm also sensing with this full moon some of you are thinking of detoxifying the body the mind the home vehicles things of that nature as well because this moon can Take a look at liver. It can be the hips, the thighs, the sacral region, which is two inches below your navel and can stem to the back area. So you may be thinking about booking a massage appointment, a chiropractic appoint appointment here, energy work, or just taking a look at what is entering into your body. What kind of foods are you fueling your body with? You may actually be going on a detox as well. So let's see what we have here. The messages that were showing up as I was sitting in meditation, I always just get into a little bit of a meditation a couple minutes before we start your reading. And I was getting here a uh, movie night, movie night with popcorn. Now, I don't know if this is on the big screen TV or if this is at your, your home where you're getting your family together or maybe you're having date night uh, with popcorn and munchies and snacks, but I'm getting something here with movie night and it may be a very heartwarming uh, movie that you watch, a very inspiring movie. I'm getting that there's something around the energy of that movie, if this is resonating with you, that's going to, that's going to leave you in your feels, right? It's going to leave you feeling emotional, but in a good way. Now, oh, I love that this is coming up here because the next thing that I was getting here for you, Aries, is there may be a decision that it's important for you to sit with and think about, maybe even ponder, but I am getting the second half of June will be the perfect time for you to step up and take the lead. There's some sort of choice, option, decision, message showing up for you that's going to allow you to move further in your career, within your health, within some sort of goals or milestones. So I really like this energy showing up right here in the middle of your reading. Now, again, we have that Sagittarian vibe. And so, yes, a lot of new beginnings, new things showing up. We also have a new moon in Gemini around the 18th or so of June. And that's a really good time to see things from all different perspectives. So let's see what we have here. Take a breather. This is the one we're going to start with. This is a month for you to step back a little bit. There's a lot of fun. There's a lot going on here for you. There may be a really big incentive here. There could be a big burst of energy that you feel and you may want to get everything done at once. But what I'm getting here for you, Aries, is make sure that you don't rush into anything or wear yourself out because we tend to feel these these uh, urges to, to move or to go a million miles per hour sometimes. Make sure you're staying hydrated, you're listening to your body, tuning in. If you are able to take some time out, whether this is traveling, getting away for a weekend, a day, an afternoon, or a couple of weeks, this is a perfect month to do so. Some of you, when you get back from whatever this is for you in the month of June, this could be the time that is, you know, go time is what I'm getting. So it could even be if you've been looking for a new place of employment or if you've been looking for some creative inspiration to take your business to the next level. I sense that there may be a little bit of a, a pause or a delay needed, but then boom, something's coming in hot here because I'm also getting messages. I'm getting the name, it could be last name, street name, place, Daniels. Daniels, please take that as it resonates. We'll take a look and clarify each of these as well. So right away, we have also unleash your kindest self. This is Capricorn energy. So you, you may feel 
very compassionate, very loving, very kind this month as well. And remember that movie we just talked about? There are some characteristic traits or there are some things that you are noticing or recognizing possibly in the main character or the main lead that you're noticing within yourself or spirit wants you to take note of. If you haven't had a movie night yet, or if this hasn't been something you've done, maybe this could actually be going to see a movie on the big screen, or again, it could be at your own home in the month of June. It doesn't have to be where it's past, but pay attention because I'm getting as well that the lead character or someone that you admire in that movie has a lot of the same characteristics that you do as well. So you're unleashing your kindest self and spirit is proud of you. And I feel like it's time for you to be proud of yourself this month as well, Aries. We should always be proud of ourselves, right? We are souls who cho chose to come here, have this human experience on earth right now. And this isn't, so sometimes it's not always an easy feat, right? It's something that can be challenging and difficult. So be proud of yourself. I also see other people being proud of you this month as well. I'm getting six of wands energy. So there could be some sort of milestone hit, accomplishment, promotion, engagement, news that, that really brings in not just familia energy, family ties, but there's something here of celebratory energy because I'm seeing here uh, a cork a cork going off, maybe a champagne bottle. So it could be something that you're celebrating with friends, with family. It could be a new home, a new announcement of some sort. It could even be a new vehicle. What else do we have here? Your feelings may be a little bit intense, Aries, in the month here of June. Honor those feelings. And the reason why I'm feeling that they're intense is because there's going to be some changes happening here in your world. And that's why it's important to start out with this Cancerian energy of taking a little bit of a pause, taking a little bit of a breather. Now, some of you may be saying, well, Melissa, I've been on a, a permanent pause, it feels like forever, right? Maybe five months or five years. But I do feel that there's something deep within you that's being activated at this time. So do pay attention to this energy. And we'll see what this is for you as well well oh there it is Aquarius open up to change and it's coming in I am sensing here that there could be some shifts around the 23rd and 24th of June now this could be I'm getting contracts some of you may be signing a contract you may be booking a flight there you could be clicking there's they're showing me I accept I accept so there's something here with acceptance or accepting an offer or something new coming in that you are making a soul contract to do there's new change coming in you're uh, you're having a new human experience and I feel like this is this is one to buckle up it's going to be a wild ride but in a, a good way think of a roller coaster right you don't stand in line for hours to you know for it to be not very enjoying or not to enjoy it, not to have fun, right? You stand in line because you're excited about the ride. So I feel like that's what's showing up here for you. What else do we have for Aries? Oh, I love this. We have the detoxify again. So some of you, yes, you're thinking about the liver. There could be something again, please seek medical professional guidance. I'm not a, a medical doctor. We're going to talk a little bit about health, but the energy centers here for you to take a look at. And so if there's something that hasn't been filtering through or something that's been clogging up your filter, right? The liver, you may be looking at dandelion, right? Dandelion teas. Some of you are looking at maybe going on a fast. You may be drinking or staying hydrated more in the month of June. Whatever this is, devil energy can be the detoxification. It doesn't have to be food, for a lot of you it is, but this can also be about fears, right? It can be about materialism, codependency, obsessions, addictions. This is all about you reclaiming your power, and that's what the full moon brings in, this energy of getting rid of what no longer serves you so you can move on to bigger and better, and that's what I feel showing up here, so I like this. Again, a perfect time to schedule that massage or energy work. Get something done within the body because some of you, you may need that physical pressure of movement, such as, again, massage therapy, to, to move around some stagnant energy in the body. All right, we have Capricorn step up and lead. This is what you're doing here. I'm getting more mid-month. 
but this can be any time throughout the month. There's going to be some important decisions. I'm curious to see what cards show up uh, as we clarify because I'm getting a lot of twos. So two of wands, two of pentacles, uh, decisions, right? Uh, some of you, this can even be two of swords where the head may be going in one direction, the heart in another. Now, I feel like you already know, so it's not like you're going to have to sit in this wagering back and forth for quite some time because it's something you have been wanting. But right away, when change comes in, we happen to take a little bit of a step back and we pause and we reevaluate and say, do we really want this? Is this really in our highest good? And I'm getting that the answer that may come through your intuition is an immediate yes. But of course, trust you first and foremost. We have double Libra energy. This is your opposite here. So both of these Libra and energies, it says, find a balance. And it says, keep your heart open. Yeah, keep your heart open. Because sometimes when we go through some challenges, some difficulties, things that seem unfair, some of you may be dealing with a legality, a judgment, or someone may have just been treating you poorly, right? Or something may have happened to you where you felt like a victim or you felt let down in some way, shape, or form. Don't let the world harden you, Aries. Don't become bitter. As I always say, our free will allows us that option to become bitter or better. The choice is yours. And if you've been feeling a little bit bitter, a little bit sour over a situation, you're human, right? We all get that way at times. But don't allow yourself to sit and and roll, you know, like those dogs that go out in the, the mud right after a bath, right? They're nice and clean. The energy is good. This is kind of what I'm feeling for you. So it may feel like, yes, this is finally moving in a forward direction and I'm clean and I'm feeling good. And then boom, it's like a storm comes in and it ushers in this new vibration and you go roll in that mud, right? But I feel like there's a new beginning coming in to wash this away. Out comes the rainbow here. There's going to be some new options and I do feel more balance coming in. So let's take a look and clarify. What do we have? We're going to use the Light Sears Tarot today. And we're going to clarify this take a breather. What is this all about for you, Aries? What's this take a breather out for you? Or what's it all about for you? Some of you may have been deep in your feelings and emotions. Cancerian energy is water. Uh, the Empress, yeah. Looking after oneself, looking after your health. I'm getting some of you, not all of you, some of you may be pregnant or may be caregivers, nurturers. You may take care of others. There could have been something around uh, mother wounding, mother healing as well. This emperor, or excuse me, empress energy is about creativity. It's about nurturing and growing a situation where I did feel, or excuse me, I do feel, and look at that, there's even the moon up there at the top. But I do feel you may have neglected or someone may even neglected you or an idea because I'm getting a little bit of pushback here. But you're going to take a little bit of downtime and nurture you, yourself, and I, right? First and foremost, you need to pay attention to what's going on here within you because you are your, your best asset here. This is something you need to take care of here in this uh, physical body. Some of you, it is health for others of you. You've been overworking, really trying to plant the seeds and water the garden and see something grow to fruition here. So I like that this Empress is showing up because you've been putting in the work. I mean, the Empress is all of the queens wrapped up in one, right? She's creative and she's charming and she's abundant and resourceful. But sometimes she can tend to the needs of everyone else except her. So this is about you taking a look at you this month. How are you doing, Aries? How are you feeling? So give yourself a little bit of TLC. All right. What do we have here for, hmm, let's take a look at these feelings because we have Cancerian and Pisces. So both water signs here. And this is about you honoring those feelings. So let's just dive into some of these feelings. What is this all about for you? What are these feelings all about here for Aries, please? The star, some sort of healing, wishful thinking, hope, stars aligning. I love the stars. So look at that. Two major arcanas showing up right away and a couple of the best ones, the empress and the star. 
Now the star comes after the tower. So some of you may have gone through a tower moment, which we talked a little bit about, not the tower per se, but maybe someone or something happening around you that just left you feeling a little bit imbalanced. But towards the end of June, you're getting your, your scales, right? With this Libra energy. You're getting the scales back to par, realigned here. Now, the star energy is about you being divinely guided. Aries, this is about you having more positivity, more hope, and more peace. And that's that Sagittarius moon as well. So the stars are aligning to make something happen. You're bringing something down to earth. And you're going to see that some major milestones or, or some goals are starting to be met for you. I'm getting finances for some of you, but for a lot of you, it is internal healing. It is about you vibrating at the frequency of what it is that you want to attract into your world. So the star car showing up here is saying, don't give up on those dreams. They're not broken. You are not broken, Aries. Yes, there may have been something that made you feel a little bit disconnected, right? But this is a brand new time to, to heal. Take that breather. Honor those emotions and those feelings so you can step up and lead in whatever area of your life that you felt a little bit tied down to or bogged down. All right, let's take a look here. Let's see what it is that you're wanting to get rid of with this detoxify energy. What do we have for Aries? What do they need to detox from? Let's see here. The Queen of Pentacles, it is in reverse. So some of you, this can be being better with finances, making better financial choices. There could be something around career, your abundance, your resourcefulness. When the Queen of Pentacles shows up, she's very, when she's in her element, she enjoys the fruits of her labor, right? She's very tuned in. And she, you can see here that she has those antennas coming out from her crown chakra. Her eyes are closed. She's feeling content. She's feeling good. But a lot of you felt disconnected and you felt out of touch with your intuition. And sometimes we, you know, we can actually hold those lower vibrations through the things that we do partake in, whether it is a person, place, or thing, it can lower our vibrations. And so what, ha what is happening here with this Queen of Pentacles is there is something, whether it's a limiting belief, maybe it's alcohol, maybe it's sugars, it could be lack of trust, whatever this energy here is for you, it's time for you to detoxify and let go of so you can fully connect right? Connect to the resources around you, connect with Mother Earth. So you, the stars can align here to, to show you your true north, to show you the path here. I'm getting clarity coming in. Clarity will come is what I just heard. Clarity will come. Let's get another card with this Queen of Pentacles and detoxify. Okay, Seven of Wands. Some of you, you had your guard up because of a situation, right? Some Something may have come at you, right? Something, it could have been words, it could have been, uh, it just could have been this energy, maybe family, maybe it was work, and you felt like you had to put yourself in a little bit of a bubble, right? Put yourself in a, a bubble so other people couldn't penetrate this bubble, but I feel like they got to you anyway, right? They got the best of you, but because you, you were in this situation in the first place in the past, I feel like you, you allowed yourself some time to sit back and that could also be what this take a breather is all about. So you don't have to constantly feel like you're walking on eggshells because the seven of wands can be about pressure coming in where people are looking for a fight, you feel offended, you feel defensive or defenseless, right? This is about you being able to stand up for your own beliefs. It's about you protecting what is yours, your business, your assets, your company, your mental health, your physical health, your emotional health, right? You don't want to have to feel like people are coming in with these wands and they're going to poke at your bubble at every turn of the way. That's why you're getting right in here, Aries. So if that were to happen again, that it, it doesn't feel like everything comes crumbling down. And that's what you're detoxing from. You're getting stronger is what I'm hearing as well. All right, let's look at let's look at what it is here that you're going to step up and lead. What is it that you're stepping up and taking that lead in? What do we have here? Oh, there's the two. I was just say, seeing here the two in my mind because I think it was the twos that we talked about with making that decision. And you have two of wands and queen of cups. Beautiful. 
Queen of Cups energy, look at her. She's surrendering. She's surrendering to the divine and she's saying, okay, if it's my will, so be it, right? Blessed be. When the Queen of Cups shows up, she gives great advice. She is someone who she could be intuitive. Now, some of you may actually be going to a psychic, a healer, a seer, a coach in the month of June that can help you gain the necessary clarity that you need. For others of you, if this is your energy, because you're highly intuitive, each and every one of us have the ability to tune in and get the answers for ourselves. Now, if you happen to have a little more difficult time doing that, then yes, you may bring someone else on board to help you through this time. But for others of you, you may be going inward because the two of wands is about planning your future, right? Needing to make a decision, especially when it comes to business, career, uh, you being able to take a look at these goals and how to expand them. But there must be a decision made here. You may be asking yourself, is the grass greener on the other side? What else is out there for me? Or you may be weighing up some pros and cons. Do I stay? Do I leave? Do I sell my home? Do I build? Do I stay put? Do I open a business, right? Do I stay in this relationship? Do I move forward? So a little bit of pondering, which I'm glad this is showing up because you have everything you need resource, uh, resource wise and intuitive wise to go in and tap in. The Queen of Cups here, she's a healer. She's a nurturer. She's someone very loving, very kind. She gives wonderful hugs. And this Queen of Cups, she is emotional as well, but she tries not to let those emotions interfere with her decisions. Now, for some of you, that could be difficult at times, right? Because you, you get your heart in something and the heart takes over. Or this could be needing to put a little bit more heart into a decision. So please take that as it resonates. All right. So I love these two showing up because this is going to actually allow you to step up and lead. So put, putting your heart and soul into a situation, into a decision is going to bring in more balance. And with that being said, let's take a look here at what is it that you need to do to keep your heart open and find more balance with this double, double Libran energy here for you, Aries. Spirit, please tell me about this double Libran energy. Some of you, Aries, maybe you have strong Libran placements or you're just feeling that uh, opposite, you know, opposite polar shift here with Libra being, we have Queen of Cups again. Okay, so keeping that heart open literally is what the Queen of Cups does. But sometimes she shuts down because she needs to fill her own cup first. Right? She may th take things very personally. She can get really overly emotional at times. This could be someone around you as well. But you have options here. But sometimes we get in our feels and we tend to feel overwhelmed. And it leaves us not even making a decision because, again, we feel like there's so much going on that we have a hard time just picking one or two things and staying consistent. Right? The Seven of Cups. We don't want to make a bad decision. We don't want to make the wrong one. But know that every single decision that you make in your life, Aries, is leading you to exactly what you want to experience. And even if it's not the best decision for yourself, it's a growing opportunity, right? A chance to evolve, a chance to learn and do things different the next time around. So make sure you know that as well, because sometimes not making a decision is a decision in itself. And you don't want to miss out on these opportunities. So if there's something that you feel overwhelmed about, okay, I feel you going inward or you tuning in, tapping into the heart, to the soul, to the intuitive side here will help you bring in this change because you have it. It's showing up here a little bit out of the blue, right? It's showing up kind of all on its own, but there's absolutely new change coming in here for you. So what else do we need to know? We're going to get a final card here for you. We're going to go with the Crystal Spirits Oracle. And we're going to see what you need to know. What crystal can help you at this time. What else do we need to know for Aries for the month of June, please? Oh, we have Aqua Aura Quartz. Aqua Aura Quartz. Really powerful, deep blue energy. It's also card six. And in... 
In uh, tarot, the six is the lovers. It's Gemini energy, and that can be about making choices from the heart as well, from the heart and the mind, of course. But when that lover's energy comes in, it can be about balanced decisions. It's about soul contracts and partnerships. So there may have been trust issues or a little bit of disharmony or in even indecisiveness that may have shown up for you but I feel like you're getting clear. There's a bigger picture that maybe you weren't able to see in the past Aries than you are now, because this is all about connecting to the infinite potential. It's a renewed sense of purpose, wonder, and awe. The earth is the only planet within our solar system, within a massive galaxy that itself is a mere speck within a vast universe. How awesome is it to recognize the power we all have when we choose to see ourselves as part of this incredible creation. And when we tap into this energy, it continually generates love and guides us with the wisdom of the ages. The appearance of this crystal is a message to you to cease your cynicism and worry and open your heart. Beautiful. What a wonderful clarifier, right? Open your heart here and we see it showing up here in this card as well. Open your heart to the wonder that is your life. How unlikely we all are and yet we are here. Drink in the magic of life in your body on this planet and let yourself be filled with wonderment. Open yourself to healing in its many forms as the universal consciousness eternally creates new beginnings and generates abundance. Today is a day to appreciate the magic that is everywhere. I love this. All right, when it comes to love and relationships, it's not something we really tuned into much, but we do see it coming in with that Queen of Cups. It says here, there are 8 billion people on the planet, yet soulmates somehow find each other. Friends and lovers show up in the most unexpected places and love makes itself known just as you are beginning to doubt that it is out there for you. Spirit message for you today is to become childlike with wonder. Believe in the magic. Believe in the power of love to find its way to you no matter how dark the hour. For love is everywhere and you have not been forgotten. Open to the love that the universal consciousness wants you to feel in every cell of your body and every particle of your being. For you are the stuff of the stars. I love it because you did get that star energy here as well. So when it comes to money, it says, as long as you are on this earth and in this body, you will always need to pay your bills and fill your belly. But Aqua Aura Quartz is here to remind you of the magic that happens when you align with the flow of abundance. You realize you really do have what you need. Resources multiply and you start to feel like Jimmy Stewart in It's a Wonderful Life with a basket overflowing with gifts from those who remember what you did and who you are who want you to know that the money and support show up when you let go of that fear that you aren't enough, you are enough, Aries, and more. Open yourself to the abundant gifts from the universe today and be in awe of the signs that say, yes, I am listening and I love you to there and back. Beautiful, beautiful messages that goes hand in hand with that queen of pentacles when it comes to money, when it comes to filling our own cup, nurturing ourselves, know that you are worthy Aries of so much. Okay, thank you. I'm getting the name Brie, Brie, so it could be short for Brianna. Uh, please take that as it resonates as well. Maybe it's a nickname, a middle name. Okay. I'm also getting one last message here for you. Some of you may need to just double check, of course, double check that your oil uh, is up to par, maybe on a vehicle of yours, or you may need to check some fluids. I'm also getting something with a spark plug. Now that could be symbolic for the body as well. It could be something that feels like it may be shorting out. I know that sounds a little bit crazy, but it may feel in the body at times like a short circuit or just something that needs refreshing. And that could be where the detox comes in as well. Some of you may be taking a look at it could be a blood work as well. You may be going to see a health professional in the month of June or planning some sort of um, checkup and blood work may be done as well, but I feel positive, favorable news. So I hope this resonates. Again, please see the disclaimer in the description box below. 
a lot of new energy coming in here for you. The big energy here is opening up to change with this Aquarius vibe. So know that things are shifting in a new way for you, but you have everything you need to give yourself some and have enough that overflows that you can you can be happy for the people around you and other people can enjoy the fruits of your label, but you first and foremost are feeling satisfied. And then that ripples out and flows out into everyone around you. And I feel like you're keeping your vibration high and there's something you may really be letting go of. I don't want to say once and for all, but it's something that you've learned a valuable lesson. And sometimes we go back and repeat these things over and over, but there is a valuable lesson here being had. Something's already happened though for you. You've learned it. It's been very valuable and I feel like you're moving on from. So you will not have to repeat the lesson you've already learned. Thank you so much for being here, Aries, and tuning in. Lots of love. If you do resonate with this message, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. It certainly helps get the divine channel messages out there to those that need it most. And feel free to subscribe and hit that bell if you're vibing with the energy of this channel. Thank you so much for being here, Aries. Lots of love.